Hi, this is John O'Sullivan. I'm the Chelmsford High School Librarian. Today I'm going to show you how to search the ABC Clio database that we have. I'm on the high school webpage and I'm going to scroll down to this icon that says CHS Library. I just want to show you here's the high school webpage. I scroll down, there I am, and it'll give me this page. And this is the Chelmsford High School website. There is a ton of information on it. I have a number of how-to videos. You can go to Overdrive, you can go to our Destiny Library catalog. Here you can go to any number of um, web pages about research if you're doing research. But today we're going to go to ABC Clio because that's the database that we're talking about. So I'm going to click on that and I will get this. And the first thing I'll ask you if you're not at Chelmsford High School is for the username and password. All the librarians have this information. You could contact one of us and we could give it to you. If you're going to contact me remotely, please use the Chelmsford email so it's easy for me to figure out who you are because obviously I can't post this information on the web or tell you this in a video because you know that wouldn't be the right thing to do. Okay, so now that we've gotten to the login and we've logged in to the ABC Clio, here I went and I searched the term George Washington. The reason I picked this term is this is a very broad term. It can be a bridge, a hospital, a president, a general. It could be a, a lot of different things. It can come up in the database, those keywords. Okay, so I, I searched all the database under George Washington and it got me a ton of information. Of course, it's not specific enough. So the next time around, I searched the Battle of Trenton. And I searched all the databases and it narrowed it down a little bit more. Obviously some databases might be more relevant than others. So the next time around, I checked off two databases, American government and American history and narrowed it down even farther. So here I am in the American history database and you can see the sixth one down says George Washington on it. So I could have searched Battle of Trenton and George Washington and it might've led me directly to this, but you get the idea of how we narrow things down with keywords. You start with something more specific and then you add more keywords and then you pick databases that are related directly to what you're doing. So I clicked on this and here we are, George Washington biography, and it shows all these other keywords that I might want to look at. And as I'm reading through this, I might find other keywords that I might also want to try in one of these individual ABC Clio databases to narrow it down even more. But the important thing is once you are actually in this, there are a number of different tools. One, I can save it. I can click on save and it will allow me to save it either into Google Classroom to share with students or I could save it to Google Drive and it puts it into one place in, in, in your Google Drive and you can save all the references there. So if students go and click on save to Google Drive over and over again, they will then have a folder with all these really great references that they can then refer back to. There are other options here. You can email it to yourself. You could print it, obviously. You could cite it. And it'll open up right here, and you can see these are different citations. Um, they have APA, Chicago, and, and, and MLA. Most teachers at Chelmsford High School are going to use MLA style, but there are some exceptions, so you certainly should ask your teacher. All right, so I can also listen, and it might take a minute to load this. And if I hit play on this, it would... Okay, you might not be able to hear it, but it just played a couple words because sometimes it's not loud enough in the video. But you can have this played to you. Um, and you can listen to it. You can actually click here to translate it and it will give you different languages to translate it in. So you have a lot of really great options here when you're using the ABC Clio databases. See it highlighted the keywords um, that you can, you can use to get the exact information you need. You do need the password as well if you want to get into the eBooks for ABC Clio. That's also a good thing to know. Um, but here you have a lot of information. I hope you find this very helpful. This is John O'Sullivan. Thank you.